Hello, hello, hello. Today we are going to discuss yet another very common Sims 4 issue, and that is an update is required to launch this game. Visit the game hub to begin your update. So basically, a app doesn't allow you to open up your Sims 4 game. What can we do in that case? The first thing that I want you to do, number one, know your credentials. Before doing any of these steps, make sure you know your credentials because you are going to be logged out of your account. So it is best and it is in our best interest to know that. Make sure you write it down on a piece of paper, make sure it matches, make sure you can log in before doing this. The first thing that we are going to try out is to actually uninstall the EA app because this might be posed by the EA app. This problem might be posed by the EA app itself. We are going to go into control panel and select the EA app and uninstall it. And instead, we are going to download the latest update for the EA app. Now, if this happens for you on to origin, again, apply it to your origin. Make sure you uninstall your origin and then download origin all over again. Do not use a download that you have in your saves or in your downloads because that is not the version that we want. Make sure you access the official EA website and get it off there. Now, once we have downloaded and installed the EA app, we are going to log into our account and see if anything works. If it doesn't work, the second step that you can take is to go offline. Click on those three lines go offline and now onto the taskbar write down the sims 4 right click in it run as administrator or if that option doesn't show up just simply click on that app and run it does it open up or does it say the same message if it doesn't say anything then good but if there is something that still doesn't let you open the Sims 4 game. So the EA app doesn't let you launch Sims 4 or open Sims 4. The step number three is to remove EA's cache. Now we can do that by clicking on those three lines. Again, make sure you know your credentials. Go to help, app recovery, and then clear cache. Warning, this might log you out. For me, it didn't. This will basically clear any corrupted files that might have been, that might have piled up in a meanwhile. The next step that you can take is make sure that your clock, aka your date and time, is synced. Okay, make sure that the date is accurate. If you have an older date, adjust it in date and time. If the hour is not good again adjust it in your settings set the settings onto automatic or just uh, untick it and then tick it untick it and tick it until it syncs up the next thing that you can try if you have another laptop or another pc is that you can download the ea app onto that pc and see if that works and see if you can open the sims 4 via ea app onto that system because sometimes it might be also caused to your windows it might work onto another computer so just to make sure that your laptop is not a problem try it onto another system if you have the possibility to do so again if you cannot get into the game because it says an update is required to launch this game in the ea app make sure that your game is up to date so you can go into your library click on those three dots and update a game the next thing that you can try which is kind of controversial but we are still going to try it is try to launch another game and close it and then open up the sims 4 if you have another game onto your ea app make sure you play another game because the other one might work close it and then play the sims 4 game or try to update it another quintessential step that you need to take make sure you go to this pc or onto your mac and make sure you have enough free space make sure you're not into the red bar if you don't have enough free space i have a lot of videos talking about how you can free up your space right over here another pro tip for you make sure that you are connected to the internet make sure that the wi-fi works onto your other devices if it works then you can disconnect it connect it and connect once again and see if it works for you for the most part clearing the cache and uninstalling and reinstalling a brand new version of the ea app should do thank you so much for watching and let me know what other issues you are experiencing in the comments down below and i will try to help you 
to the best of my ability. I will see you very, very soon.